So I made a little bit of an error. To install a new game, which was very large, I had to remove some files from the computer. And I had two worlds named the same. One that I was recording with and one that I was just, you know, general spare time playing. But I couldn't remember which one was which. And instead of opening Minecraft, I put them into the recycle bin. And yeah, I emptied the recycle bin to make room for this game. So I had to start again. So this is just bits and bobs of what I was doing, ready to start. Um, well, we start episode two. Hopefully I won't make that mistake again. Welcome to the brand new world for my Minecraft video series, which includes mods such as fossils and archaeology, millionaire village mod, and also a zoo mod. So I've just been into uh, a mine just to get some coal and they're looking if I found some iron. But the first thing I'm going to do is, Alan, will you move please? Please? Alan, move now. Move. Move. Right, he's going to lay out my house. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep, that's the center point there. And then use this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that there. So it should be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. And then just repeat that. Woo! to get this kind of shape. So I'm going to have to get some more things and then I can finish building the house. But that's basically the shape. It's going to be a basic house because everything I'm going to do is going to be, I don't know, either underground or in a different location, not far from the house because this is quite a good location here. I might do like a warehouse or something down there. Um, I haven't quite decided yet. But I'll come back once I've got the house done. So this is the house complete. It's good when you've got two types of trees around. Um, so we've, it's not that good. I mean, the main focus isn't going to be the house, but it's functional. It's going to keep me safe at night. Although I don't have a bed, but the idea I have is even though I've done a mine just down there, um, I'm going to use this little tent, the archaeologist tent, um, and put all the stuff into the house, including the bed, and use that as an entrance to the mine, but I'm going to dig straight down. One wall of Minecraft is not to dig straight down. But hey, I'm going to do it anyway. So let's just quickly go into here and move everything. So these two items here, the sifter and... What was that? Archaeology workbench. So they are basically part of the fossils and archaeology mod. And what we do with this is... Oh, let's see if I put that there. Yeah, we'll put it there for now. Uh, I'll just put that there. Is if I get some sand, which I just took off the beach, stick it in here, it will sieve through the sand and it can pick up things like carrots, potatoes, uh, bone meal, um, sometimes more sand, so you have to put that back in. And you can find fossils as well that we can use in an analyzer to get uh, dinosaur DNA. So this is great. I mean, with this, you don't even have to do any, you know, planting of seeds or anything. Now, I am hungry. I've got four chicken legs left. Here's a fossil. Plant a fossil. Um, so, it, it, you know, it gives you carrots. And the more sand, dirt and gravel that you put in, um, the more carrots and potatoes you get. So, 
you can survive on this food for quite a while. So it's getting night time now, so let me just cook this uh, potato. So I found some osmium as well. So I've got some osmium and iron. I need to find some redstone. Because redstone, I need to make the infusers. Now, the infusers I need for um, making steel dust. That's the one I was thinking of. Uh, to make steel dust. Um, but before I go into the machines, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in um, some biofuel. So I need to make some biofuel, get a couple of um, buckets of lava, and then I can create my own energy source. Now, wind turbines that you can get a mechanism are pretty good for a starter, but I found that biofuel is even better and I'm surrounded by trees. I've got saplings in the chest to crush up. Um, so I can use them and yeah, have plenty of energy, even if I don't use energy much. I know that but at the beginning, I know it's going to get plenty. And I think there's a way to store the energy that it creates. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look into that. Mechanism is brilliant mod. So I just need to keep checking to see if I keep going back. See, oh, have I forgot something? Is Am I able to do this with it? But I think I can store energy somewhere. So, I have a big backup. But for now, I'm going to go and dig down to... Oh, there's a biofossil. That's going to be handy. Uh, I'm going to dig down to level 11. I think what I'm going to do first is make... another chest. And I'm going to put that here. Oh, no, I can't put it there. Actually, I could probably set this up now, what I wanted to set up. So basically, I need to get... Um, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get five iron. Yeah, let's make... This one. Into a chest. I really wanted something like a a different chest um, for different things so for instance this chest here put the hopper onto there so these basic default chests are going to be um, for fossils and archaeology uh, the birch chest will be for something else, and the spruce chest will be something completely different. That's hoping, well, I'm hoping to do that. Um, but let's put all these in there. So yeah, I'll leave that to carry on now. And I'll go and dig down to level 11, or maybe 8 actually. Go to level 8. So I shall be right back. So now I've uh, forgot to make some ladders, I'm literally digging straight down. Um, but these are the lucky ores. Now you need an iron pick to open these, and yeah, they've got no creeper faces on, so they should be lucky. And I don't even know what it's done. Oh, diamonds! More diamonds! The bat. Um, it gave me something. Oh, a parrot! Oh no, I killed a parrot! Oh! 
Uh, oh, it's, it's blocked up my... It's blocked up where I was digging, what the heck? Oh, no, that, how is that looking? Why is it? That is not lucky. Why is it giving me that? And it's blocked up where I was digging. I don't know where I was digging down. Uh, well, look enough, I set home, so I'm gonna have to go home and then try and find it again. Yeah, so that was the lucky orbs that I, I've been finding. So I have a pet. And it actually turned out that the Lucky Ores actually uh, teleported me somewhere else that gave me more Lucky Ores. And of course that parrot died, and the chicken died, but it gave me, um, I finally got back to where I found the other two. I finally got a little friend! Yay! Right, so I've just been and down to the mine, and I've got myself some redstone and some lapis. So I just need to make two more furnaces and then I should have enough to make, oh actually I need two of these don't I, one for the coal and one for redstone, yes, um, so these aren't going to stay here. These will be moved. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to the factory bef sooner than I thought, actually. Okay, so I just put these here for now. Um, right, before I put anything in there, what did I need to make the biofuel? So iron and osmium. So, well, how much for iron was it? So two of those and one of those. Uh, so two and one, so if I put three, one, two, one, two, and that should, I should make the third one ready, so it should have enough power then for the osmium. And I should be able to make that ready. So then I have to make a crusher, which I need two buckets of lava for. Um, and that will then... I can put the samplings in there to make biofuel. So apart from... Buckets of lava, I need two basic control circuits. So I need another two. So let's put that into there. And then I can make some buckets up and go and get some lava, which I haven't actually found any lava yet. I can I heard it in the mine, but I've not actually found any just yet. <sighs> so I better go and find some lava. Right, so I've got myself um, some lava now, so what else did I need for the crusher? Steel casing, so I need some steel ingots, osmium and glass. So I should have, yep, four sand, so I can make that now. Let's keep that on me. Um, Yes, so I need two parts. One, two, three, four. Let's get eight of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 
Putting iron yeah. into infuser with coal gives me unriched iron, and then I put the unriched iron back oh. and to go through again, and it will give me steel dust, which then it oh. will. I put the steel dust into the furnace, and it will give me steel oh. ingots. Now, for the first few clips that I recorded for this video, oh. I noticed that on OBS my sound was set for my headphones, but I was actually recording it through, but well, the sound was coming through my monitor. Hopefully my voice is still heard, but you can hear my parrot, you can hear Alan outside, and you can hear the infuser machines, so I will definitely need to get some upgrades um, eventually for all the machines once I've built them all and put them into a factory once I've built that. Which I will probably make soon, but I need to make a crusher. Then I can make some biofuel, because I need two to make the um, biofuel generator. So that's now done. So hopefully this glass is done. It is. So we can put that in there. So for the crusher, I have everything we need. And then I can make the steel casing. So let's wait for that to cook. Oh, and now I need to make some universal cables so I can transfer energy um, from the bio generator to the crusher. So it will power that. So it will constantly make power. But once the bio generator is full of biofuel, the um, generator, uh, the crusher, sorry, will stop. Huh. So that's everything I need. So let's make. Oh, I'm missing Osmond. Awesome. Huh. Okay, so let's make that. Huh. And then let's. Oh, I put those back huh. in here. So there's the crusher. So I need to get that. Uh, do I need redstone for the biofuel? Uh. Yes, I did. Right, so the crusher, um, I'm going to put... Uh. Gosh, I don't know because I can't uh. remember if I needed... Right, if I just put that there, put the crusher on top. Uh. Let's put these saplings in. And we'll power it with a couple of red stones. And that is quite loud. We just need two for now. Brilliant. Right, so. Biogenerator. So let's get rid of that. And put the biogenerator underneath. Oh, that's actually the wrong way around. I want it to be this way. There we go. So, set up to... That one should be output. Wait, is that the bottom? Oh, auto eject. Oh, there we go. So this is now the biofuel. Huh. No, that's the biofuel and that's the energy. Huh. So, what do I need to make universal huh. cable? Steel and redstone, so I need to make some more steel. Huh. So I can do that. Huh. Let's put all in, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ah. eight. So that's got some energy in now. Just got to power ah. this, which is what I need the steel for. Ah. Ah. I haven't got any more iron actually, because I. Do because I will need to make some. Ah. 
cables to go into these as well. So I think I'd better Aww. put in another two, Aww. actually. Let's get some more coal. Aww. Yes, I ha I'll have 10 spare, so I'd love to make another one if need be. Aww. I think I might have put some more redstone in. Aww. Right, if I get the two made now. Aww. I just shouldn't need any more because Aww. each one makes a pack of eight. So I'm probably going to have enough anyway. Aww. Hopefully I'll have enough. Let's just put two more Aww. stone in there. Alright, so universal Aww. cable. Let's put this down here. Aww. Actually, let's put that in there now. Let's wait for this one to do. Aww. Thank you very much. Um, you can Aww. pop those. Right, so that can go onto there. So that's now powering that. There we go. So that's now powered. That's going to crush, go straight into there and make some more energy. That's now powered. And that's now powered. <coughs> Excuse me. So, time to sleep and see. Oh, more carrots and more potatoes. Oh, pottery shards. These can go into the archaeology workbench. So, if I find any um, broken ancient vases, I can put them in here and the pottery shards will be used to fix them. Um, so yeah, that's that bit, and I think I might sleep and then set up the factory. Oh, hello, Alan. Right, so I will go and sleep. My parrot keeps scaring me, it keeps making creepy noises, and I completely forgot that parrots imitate noises nearby. Because I think there's a, looking at the map, there's a cave underneath with lots of, uh, yeah, horrible things. So I think what I'm going to do is just cover this up, because I don't really want them to come out. I mean, I know they're there. Let's just ignore them for now, shall we? Okay, so I found a great spot for a factory. I've removed some of the grass. So I should have enough materials um, to make somewhat of a, of a frame is what I'm going to be after. So I'm going to get rid of my voice and just speed skip this part where I'm building the factory.
Ε... Okay, so it's only small. <laughs> I'm going to change um, how it is. Uh, I used to use a design that I found on YouTube. I know it's cheating, but hey. Um, that I quite like, and it's... <clears throat> I think it's, it's wood, and it's made out of a, uh, a lot of glass. Uh, glass panes. So I think I'm going to do that design, but I'll do the off-camera since I've got the basic now. But it's going to be a lot bigger than this. But because it was night time, I just wanted to concentrate on somewhere that I can be safe. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave that there for this one. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, from now on, is just, like, when I... I'm not going to show stuff when I go mining. I'll do a lot of things off camera, but making the machines and setting them up, I'll do those on camera. Um, so we get the mechanism bit done, and then we'll start making either the zoo or the dinosaur park. So, yeah, that'd be interesting. So, until next time, thank you for watching, and you're going to say goodbye, Parrot. Uh... No? Okay, maybe not. See you next time and have fun!